Picture this, right now, at this very moment, there's a tiny spacecraft the size of a small car racing through the darkness between the stars. It's been traveling for 47 years, carrying messages from Earth to anyone or anything that might find it. This isn't science fiction. This is Voyager 2, and it just sent back images so shocking that scientists are scrambling to understand what they mean. What Voyager 2 discovered at the edge of everything we know will change how you think about space forever. And by the end of this video, you'll understand why these latest images have NASA researchers working around the clock to decode messages from the most distant human-made objects still talking to Earth. Let me take you on a journey that began when your parents, or maybe even your grandparents, were young. It was 1977, and the world was a very different place. There were no smartphones, no internet as we know it today, and the idea of sending a robot to visit the outer planet seemed almost impossible. But NASA had a dream and a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The planets were lining up in a special way that only happens every 176 years. It was like having all the cosmic doors open at once, creating a perfect highway through space. Scientists realized they could launch a spacecraft that would visit not just one planet, but four of the giant outer worlds in our solar system. They called this mission Voyager, and they built two identical twins to make the journey. Voyager 2 launched first, on August 20, 1977, followed by its twin brother Voyager 1 just two weeks later. Both spacecraft were about the size of a small car and packed with cameras, sensors, and scientific instruments that were absolutely cutting-edge for their time. But here's the amazing part, the computer controlling each Voyager had less processing power than a modern calculator. Yet somehow, these incredible machines would go on to revolutionize our understanding of the solar system. The mission was supposed to last just four years. NASA engineers designed everything to work perfectly for the journey to Jupiter and Saturn. After that, if the spacecraft kept working, it would be a bonus. Nobody could have imagined that 47 years later, we'd still be receiving data from these mechanical explorers, now traveling through space no human has ever seen. Voyager 2's first stop was Jupiter, the king of planets. When it arrived in 1979, it sent back images that left scientists speechless. The Great Red Spot, a storm bigger than Earth itself, was revealed in stunning detail. But that wasn't the biggest surprise. Hidden in the data were discoveries that changed everything we thought we knew about Jupiter. The spacecraft found that Jupiter had rings, just like Saturn. These rings were so faint that no telescope on Earth had ever spotted them. Voyager 2 also discovered new moons, including tiny Adristia and Métis, orbiting just outside the newly found ring system. But the real shock came from Jupiter's famous moons. Io, one of Jupiter's largest moons, was supposed to be a cold, dead rock. Instead, Voyager 2 found a world literally exploding with volcanic activity. Sulfur-spewing volcanoes painted the moon in brilliant yellows, oranges, and reds. It was the first time humans had ever seen active volcanoes anywhere other than Earth. Europa, another of Jupiter's moons, revealed something even more exciting. Beneath its icy surface, Voyager 2 found hints of a vast ocean that might contain more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. This discovery would later make Europa one of the top targets in the search for life beyond Earth. After Jupiter, Voyager 2 continued its journey to Saturn, arriving in 1981. If you think Saturn's rings looked beautiful from Earth, imagine seeing them up close with the clarity of Voyager's cameras. The spacecraft revealed that Saturn's rings weren't solid bands at all, but made up of billions of ice particles, some as small as grains of sand, others as big as houses, all dancing in complex patterns around the planet. But Voyager 2 discovered something nobody expected. Saturn's rings had strange, twisted structures called spokes that appeared and disappeared like ghostly shadows. These spokes defied the laws of physics as scientists understood them at the time. Even today, decades later, we're still trying to fully understand what creates these mysterious features. Saturn's moon Titan, larger than the planet Mercury, turned out to be shrouded in a thick, orange atmosphere. Voyager 2 couldn't see through the haze to the surface, but it gave us our first clear look at this alien world that we now know has lakes and rivers of liquid methane and ethane. This is where the original mission was supposed to end. But Voyager 2 was still healthy, still sending back data, and still had enough fuel to continue. NASA made a bold decision, let's keep going. 
The spacecraft would become the first and only human-made object to visit the two most distant giant planets in our solar system. In 1986, Voyager 2 reached Uranus, a planet so far from the Sun that it takes 84 Earth years to complete one orbit. This ice giant was full of surprises. The planet was tipped over on its side, rolling through space like a ball instead of spinning like a top. Its magnetic field was tilted at a crazy angle, unlike anything scientists had ever seen. Voyager 2 discovered that Uranus had rings too, but these were dark and narrow, made of material as black as coal. The spacecraft also found new moons and revealed that this distant world was far more complex and interesting than anyone had imagined. But the real prize was still ahead. In 1989, 12 years after launch, Voyager 2 became the first and only spacecraft to visit Neptune, the most distant planet in our solar system. This blue world, four times larger than Earth, was supposed to be a cold, inactive place so far from the sun that it barely receives any solar energy. Instead, Voyager 2 found a dynamic, stormy world with the fastest winds in the solar system. The Great Dark Spot, a storm system as large as Earth, raged across Neptune's surface with winds reaching 1,200 miles per hour. This was faster than the speed of sound on Earth, powered by heat coming from deep inside the planet itself. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, provided another shock. This moon was geologically active, with geysers of nitrogen shooting up to 5 miles high. On a world where temperatures dropped to negative 391 degrees Fahrenheit, liquid nitrogen was erupting like Old Faithful. After Neptune, Voyager 2 had completed what many consider the greatest journey of exploration in human history. It had visited four planets, discovered dozens of moons, found new ring systems, and revealed active geology on worlds billions of miles from Earth. But its journey was far from over. For the next three decades, both Voyager spacecraft continued racing toward the edge of our solar system. They were heading for a place no human-made object had ever been, the boundary where our sun's influence ends and true interstellar space begins. You see, our sun doesn't just provide light and heat. It's constantly blowing a stream of charged particles called the solar wind into space. This creates a huge bubble around our solar system called the heliosphere. Everything inside this bubble, including all the planets, is still under the sun's influence. But beyond this boundary lies the vast emptiness between the stars. On November 5, 2018, something historic happened. Voyager 2 crossed the outer edge of the heliosphere, called the heliopause, where the hot solar wind meets the cold, dense interstellar medium. It became only the second human-made object to enter interstellar space, following its twin Voyager 1, which had crossed this boundary in 2012. But here's where the story gets really incredible. The images and data Voyager 2 has been sending back from interstellar space are unlike anything scientists expected. The spacecraft's final photographs show the stormy frontier where the effect of our sun gives way to outer space, revealing labyrinthine, shape-shifting geometries never imaged before. These aren't pictures in the way you might imagine. Remember, Voyager 2 is so far away that the sun appears as just another star. There's no light to take regular photographs. Instead, the spacecraft uses its instruments to detect charged particles, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays, creating images that show the invisible structure of space itself. What Voyager 2 found at this cosmic boundary shocked scientists. The heliopause is one leaky border, and the leaks go both ways, with tendrils of interstellar particles punching into the heliopause like tree roots through rock. Instead of a clean, sharp boundary, the edge of our solar system is messy, turbulent, and constantly changing. Voyager 2 appears to be in a perturbed transitional region rather than the calm interstellar space scientists expected. It's like standing at the shore where ocean waves crash against the beach, except this beach is at the edge of everything we call home. Even more mysterious, the leakiness of the heliopause, spotted in two very different parts of the heliosphere, appears to be a common characteristic, although there is still no real explanation for what's causing it. Both Voyager spacecraft found this strange, turbulent region, suggesting that the boundary of our solar system is far more complex than anyone imagined. The data coming back from Voyager 2 is rewriting textbooks. Scientists thought they understood how our solar system interacts with interstellar space, but these shocking images show that reality is far stranger and more beautiful than our theories predicted. Think about this for a moment, we're receiving messages from a spacecraft that's over 12 billion miles away. When Voyager 2 sends a signal to Earth, 
traveling at the speed of light, it takes more than 18 hours to reach us. The spacecraft is so far away that Earth appears as just a tiny dot of light, if it can be seen at all. Yet somehow, this incredible machine built with 1970s technology continues to function in the harsh environment of interstellar space. The temperature outside the spacecraft is close to absolute zero. There's no air, no protection from cosmic radiation, and no way to repair anything that breaks. In 2024, Voyager 2 turned off its plasma science instrument to conserve power. The spacecraft is slowly shutting down non-essential systems to keep its most important instruments running as long as possible. Every few months, NASA engineers have to make difficult decisions about what to turn off next. Both Voyager spacecraft are powered by radioactive decay, using plutonium to generate electricity. But after 47 years, these power sources are getting weaker. Scientists estimate that four of the 11 instruments each craft carries are still working. By the early 2030s, both Voyagers will likely go silent forever. But even after they stop talking to us, these incredible spacecraft will continue their journey through the cosmos. They're carrying golden records with sounds and images from Earth, including greetings in dozens of languages, music from different cultures, and pictures of human life. These records are designed to last billions of years, serving as messages to any intelligent life that might find them. Imagine that someday, perhaps millions of years from now, an alien civilization might discover one of the Voyager spacecraft drifting through space. They would find not just an amazing piece of human engineering, but a snapshot of who we were in 1977, our hopes, our dreams, and our desire to explore the unknown. The story of Voyager 2 is really the story of human curiosity and determination. When those engineers in the 1970s designed these spacecraft, they couldn't have known they were creating machines that would still be sending back shocking discoveries nearly five decades later. Every image, every measurement, every bit of data from Voyager 2 represents humanity reaching out into the universe, asking questions, and seeking answers. These spacecraft have shown us wonders we never imagined, active volcanoes on distant moons, hidden ring systems around giant planets, and now, the turbulent, mysterious boundary where our cosmic neighborhood ends. The latest images from Voyager 2 are more than just scientific data. They're proof that humans can build things that last, that our dreams of exploration can become reality, and that there's still so much we don't know about the universe around us. As I speak these words, Voyager 2 is racing through interstellar space at over 34,000 miles per hour. Every second, it travels further from Earth than most people drive in a day. It's exploring a realm that no human will likely visit for centuries, if ever. The spacecraft is now truly alone, surrounded by the vast emptiness between the stars. Yet it continues to send back data, continues to make discoveries, continues to expand our understanding of the cosmos. In a universe that can seem cold and empty, Voyager 2 represents the warmth of human curiosity and the power of scientific discovery. Scientists around the world are still studying the shocking images and data from Voyager 2's journey through interstellar space. Each transmission brings new mysteries, new questions, and new wonders. We're learning that even the empty space between stars isn't truly empty, but filled with complex magnetic fields, charged particles, and structures we're only beginning to understand. The legacy of Voyager 2 extends far beyond its scientific discoveries. It has inspired generations of scientists, engineers, and dreamers. It has shown us that humans can work together to achieve incredible things, that our technology can reach across impossible distances, and that our capacity for wonder and exploration knows no bounds. When children today look up at the night sky, they're looking at stars that Voyager 2 is actually traveling toward. Someday, tens of thousands of years from now, this little spacecraft built by humans will pass close to other stars, carrying with it the story of our world and our species. The most shocking thing about Voyager 2 isn't just the incredible images it has sent back, or the amazing discoveries it has made. It's the fact that we built it at all. In 1977, humans took metal and silicon and plastic and electronics, assembled them with care and precision, and sent them on a journey that continues to this day. Every time you use a GPS system, look at whether satellite images, or marvel at pictures from space telescopes, you're benefiting from technologies that were advanced and improved because of what we learned from Voyager. These spacecraft didn't just explore space, they helped us understand how to build better, more reliable technology right here on Earth. 
As Voyager 2 continues its eternal journey through interstellar space, it carries with it the hopes and dreams of everyone who worked on the mission, everyone who followed its discoveries, and everyone who has ever looked up at the stars and wondered what's out there. The shocking images and data coming back from the edge of our solar system remind us that the universe is far stranger, more complex, and more beautiful than we ever imagined. They challenge our understanding of physics, inspire new theories about how space works, and fill us with wonder at the incredible journey these machines have made. In a few years, Voyager 2 will go silent, its power finally exhausted after nearly half a century of faithful service. But its legacy will live on in every space mission that follows, every discovery it made possible, and every person it inspired to look up at the stars and dream of exploration. The next time you see a clear night sky, remember that somewhere out there, beyond the reach of our sun's light, a small spacecraft built by human hands is racing through the darkness, still exploring, still discovering, still representing the very best of human curiosity and determination. Voyager 2's most shocking images aren't just pictures from space. They're proof that when humans dream big, work hard, and never give up, we can achieve things that seem impossible. They're a reminder that in a universe full of wonders, the most amazing thing of all might just be the creatures on a small blue planet who built machines capable of reaching for the stars. The story of Voyager 2 is still being written. Every day it continues to function is another day of discovery, another chance to learn something new about the cosmos we call home. And every shocking image, every unexpected discovery, every moment of wonder it provides is a gift from the engineers and scientists who dared to dream of sending a piece of Earth on an eternal journey through the stars. This incredible journey that began 47 years ago continues today, tomorrow, and for as long as these amazing machines can keep talking to us across the vast emptiness of space. And when they finally fall silent, they'll continue their journey, carrying our messages to the stars, forever. If this story of human achievement and cosmic discovery has amazed you as much as it has amazed me, please hit the like button to let me know. Share this video with anyone who loves space exploration and the incredible things humans can accomplish when we work together. And don't forget to subscribe for more stories about the wonders of our universe and the amazing machines and people who help us explore it. The cosmos is full of shocking discoveries waiting to be found, and I can't wait to share more of them with you.